The death toll in the mayhem unleashed by militants in Bodoland territorial area districts has reached 36. The curfew which was imposed on May 2 has been relaxed in Baksa, Kokrajhar and Chirang districts as no fresh violence was reported. The Assam government blamed Songbijit faction of the National Democratic Front of Bodoland for killing 36 people, all migrant Muslims. The centre has sent a team of National Investigation Agency to probe the matter and has deployed additional forces to maintain peace and calm. Nothing new has happened. Okay, so like how do I mean the situation? It's under control. Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi visited the violence hit Kokrajhar district and assured justice to the victims. There are some people who are interested to create uh, disturbance in the state also. So we have to be vigilant also. And we are taking all the steps. Uh, more forces are coming also. And we are also going to, uh, what you call, recruit more, recruit. Uh, deploy more the, even the home guards also in different places so that situation uh, comes not only normal it should be it should restore confidence among the minds of those area people in assam organized protests to call for an end to the ongoing ethnic massacre in bodoland territorial area district the members of krishak mukti sangram samiti and all assam students union call for strong action against those responsible for the violence me anabaru admi ko nanbaru admi ko me ye ye aban karta hu appeal karta hu ki aap log bhi itna tense mat ho hariye ho mat hijiye tense hone se kam nahi hoga tense hone se hum log ka zyada khyati hoga zyada loss ho jayega hum log clash mein jaane se zyada loss ho jayega isliye me Bodo or non Bodo people, BTD area ka Assam ka people ko me aban karta ho, me appeal karta ho ki pura class ban kijiye, ham log ek saath ho ke andulon karke ye class ban karne ke liye ham log kam karna chahiye tha. A senior meet was also called at Guwahati Press Club, where people from various walks of life participated and condemned the killings. They also called for restoration of peace in the BTAD area. Various organizations have asked the people in the BTAD to maintain calm and restore peace. People feel that illegal arms in the BTAD area are one of the main reasons for serious violence there. Discuss that is how to maintain peace. At this stage, peace is the main thing that requires that. So, Government also should take steps to ensure security and safety of the people and condemn the extremist organization also. The extremist organization stop violence and government should take proper action against the extremist section. People in Assam have suffered decades of militancy-led violence which continues till date. Ethnic violence perpetrated by militants has caused a lot of damage to the state. 